It's your host with the most from coast to coast, Soul Frito, representing with flavor. My man to the left, who's always the best? Loso Do Fresco, a.k.a. Loso Nose. A.k.a. A.k.a. Coquito Loso. <laughs> I guess. Yo, that looks very creamy, son. Well, first of all, welcome, guys. Welcome. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Año Nuevo. Feliz Año, yeah. Año Nuevo. See. Si. Welcome to the end of the year episode. 2017 has uh, come and gone. Yeah, man. And, uh... We're here. We're back. Yeah. We, we, we're keeping it consistent for you guys. Yeah. I drive two and a half hours, depending on if I feel like speeding or not, just to do this. So, uh, Coquito, we're going to talk about uh, beverage racism later on in the episode. Yeah, yeah we will. We bring that up, man. Hey, first Sorry. of all, can I, start, can I say something? Absolutely. Fuck 2017, bro. Fuck 2017, man. 2017 was the best, worst year of my life in, my, in a my, long time. Yeah, mine's too. Mine's too. It's probably the worst year of my life, but... We here, man, and I'm, you know, I'm not gonna dwell on that shit. First of all, I want to thank everybody who's reached out, um, text, voicemail, uh, DMs, um, everything. People who donated. Um, I had a tragedy. I had. Um, I'm not gonna get into it, but people who know, who know, who if you know, you know. Um, el, el que sabe sabe. El que sabe sabe. Thank you for for everything, and um, yo, bless. God is good, and uh, thank you again for for everything, guys. Donations and just. Just uh, just the reach out, but uh, we gonna we gonna end this episode real quick, man. Salute, salute, bless. Oh God, it yeah. felt so good going down. Yeah, this is strong, son. You're welcome. Creamy, pause. <laughs> Super creamy. <sighs> My stomach could take that shit. Okay, we only have one camera angle this time, Los. So for the love of everything beautiful, nah, they don't exist to me. I'm not gonna be looking at that. Yo, go ahead. Live salute. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Coquito on deck. He will not look at you guys. Camera A. I see. I see sneaker fiend over here live. Yo, we'll, we'll let you know when you we're ready to put you on the show, son. We we'll, we could have you on here in the background taking selfies for 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 a fucking hour and shit. <laughs> Platinum Angel. <laughs> Pla oh, Platinum man. Angel. Platinum Angel. Oh, oh, he's coming. I got, I got my eyebrows done. Yo, so I'm taking yeah, my, yeah. I got my eyebrows done this weekend, so I'm, I'm taking my glasses off. Oh, I was going to say something about your brows. Oh, they look very, very... Um, like that? They're, um, I'm trying to use the right word. I'm not trying to say you, pretty. Use whatever word. You yeah, can say pretty. Very clean. Clean, I like very, that. Very, very uh, elegant manscaping. Thank you. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Moises Yo, Latin I've never Cuts. Seen you. I've never seen you with the Puerto Rican eyebrows. Because I have my glasses on. You know, I used to get them, son. I used to get the Puerto Rican eyebrows, too. Yo, I remember when, like, reggaeton blew up. Hold on. What's worse? Dominican eyebrows or Puerto Rican Dominican eyebrows? Dominican eyebrows, dog. I don't know. Dominican man. eyebrows be like this, kid. They be like, yo, I love my Dominican. Shout out to all my Dominican. But, chacho, they be having a motherfucker like this. And it looks like pencil. Like, they went like, like, it looks like they have the Nike sign. I used to wear contacts on the regular, like, during my 20s. And I used to stay getting my eyebrows nice and clean. But now, yo, now that I'm in my 30s, man, and I just stay with glasses, bro, I don't fucking care. I got them bushy Salvadorian Central American eyebrows, man. You got those Noriegas. <laughs> <laughs> you got the you got the drink champ eyebrows. Yo, I got the I look like the I look like the fucking chef from the Muppets. Remember that chef? Oh yeah. <laughs> no, yo, in 2004, I remember I was like 12. 13, and I remember I used to see like when Don Omar and all them cats blew up, and they used to, all the Ricans used to do their eyebrows. I thought that shit was so sweet. I was like, I ain't doing that shit. I met my wife, got my eyebrows done, I looked in the mirror. I was like, yo, hey, I'm kind of sexy. I ain't gonna lie. I look, yo, I look pretty good. I ain't gonna good. lie, man. Women love it, son. They do. Women love it. I, at work, they'd be like, they'd be like, yo, they're like, yo, yeah. something about you. You're, you're glowing. You're, what did you do different? I son, said, I have an arch, son. You look cute. Like, yo, your eyes, they're brown. It's like, they've always been brown. <laughs> they're brown with an arch now. Oh. Let's get to it. Hey, look, this is our buddy. Here we go. My daughter loves this thing. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah. What'd you say? A Caucasian classic? Yeah, this is a Caucasian classic toy. <laughs> Yo, that's our new thing, Caucasian classic. We were talking about movies. Uh, shout out to Sneak Disc. They had a dope ass segment. The top five, um, dude, Christmas movies. Top ten, I think. Top five or top it was ten? Top five. And they had like honorable Hilarious. mentions. Hilarious. And he said, he goes, he goes, yo, I hate Miracle Thirty Fourth Street. Or what, what was it, Christmas Story? Nah, I think Miracle Thirty Fourth Street. And you were like, you were like, yo, I hate that movie, but everybody likes it. 
I was like, yeah, because it's white people. Oh, Christmas like, story. No, I don't like Christmas. I just put it on Facebook. I just put a little status. I just said, Christmas story is overrated. Dog. He said. Yo, people really lo- love it. He said, it's a Caucasian classic. Yo, it's a Caucasian no, classic. But, but look, this, this one made a bet. He goes, it's a Caucasian classic. And then like 30 seconds later, he was like, yo, that was funny. I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know, I thought I I pondered on a Caucasian classic. That's what we know. You know, it's crazy, man. Mine's cause gone. like minorities shit on white people all the time, bro. We do. You know what I'm saying? But, but they, they shit on too. us. Uh, they shit. They shit on us too. Just not in our face. But um, they keep it classy. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do from now on. If it's a white people Porque shit, it's a Caucasian nosotros, classic. No tenemos miedo. We be like, hey. Like, yo. yo, he's feeling gully with those eyebrows. <laughs> you, you felt that? Yeah, did you, did relax. You feel energy. Yo, I'm you, usually nice. You're my not bad. in San Juan right now. That's relax. True. My bad. Relax. My bad. I apologize. Uh, shout out this dope ass uh, track jacket. I was feeling yeah, myself yeah, for yeah. a second. I was feeling very uh, Boricua. All Adidas right. Adidas, the champion. Let me get back to the mix. You know, I'm black and Puerto Rican. Let me, let me even it out. All right. 2017. Let's get it started. Um, thank you to my first guest. Just sold out. Just Justine Hong, I apologize. She was this year. This year, okay. January tenth was my first year anniversary, and it was the day that her and I recorded. I told her, I said, "Hey, you're my guinea pig." I said, "If this doesn't work out with visuals, I don't know what I'm gonna do." And yo, was, this is definitely gonna give me the runs later on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So, I already feel the IBS. That's right, I like that. I like, I like the I like the cleansing. This is a cleanse. Oh, the coquito co- cleanse. The coquito colon cleanse. <laughs> Are you constipated or feeling uh, clogged? Just hit up Sofrito and he'll make you a bottle. Cold. For how much? For thirty nine ninety nine, he'll get you right and you'll get lit and you'll have your colon cleansed. And during the holidays, for twenty ninety nine, you can have the Coquito Colon Cleanse, courtesy of Last of the Sohicans. <laughs> Is there any way? Yeah, we should start Nick. labeling that bottle, son, and start selling them shits. Next year. Uh, next year, though. 2018, we're yeah. selling them. End of the year, yo. We'll, we'll send them shits with dry ice in but the yo, box. Uh, just sold out. Justine Hong was my first guest uh, as a as a recording, as a visual. Um, shout out to Mike Black who edited. It. He couldn't be here. He had a uh, family emergency, and um, couldn't be here. We still love him. Love you, bro. Thank you for everything he does. Everything, everything you do for us. Thank you for everything. You know, uh, the way we met it was crazy. I, I had stickers. Speaking of stickers, uh, labeling. I had stickers, right? And I was at Magic Bullet in Fredericksburg, and I took a picture and I said, "Yo, I got some treats down here." He hit me on Instagram. He was like, yo, why are you right now? I was like, I'm at the donut place. He was like, I'll be right there. And he drove to Magic Bullet. To get stickers? No, to meet me. Oh, wow. To meet me. And I said, he, he's like, yo, you still there? I said, no, no, I went to the donut place. And he was like, all right, all right, all right, I'm going to be over there. So what happened was he went to the donut place so you and ju- I went to Magic Bullet. Oh, wow. I thought you guys have met a long time no, ago. No. He was a, f- yo, word to rap. He was a fan of the SoundCloud audio. He was a fan of the show. Damn, dog. I thought I y'all just, go way back. No, I just met him this year. It don't matter, bro. I feel like I've known Mike and... Well, I've known Demetrius for a few years, but I've known, I feel like I've known Mike for a few Shout years. Shout out now. for using my government for the first time. Yo, he was upstairs with my family. He's like, yeah, me and Sofrito again. I'm like, yo, they don't know who I am with yeah, that. Your mom looked at me like... <laughs> you mean, you mean my, I, my son? ¿Quién es Sofrito? <laughs> She's like, we are making bad You talking yeah. about that? But uh, It does with- smell delicious in the air. I, I'm not, I think I've ever been inside of a Puerto Rican house during, during the, the holidays? holidays. Dog, it smells... Phenomenal. I just want to lick the walls when I walked in. Yo, he came in the house. He was like, he's like, yo, what you cooking, guys? <laughs> so, the fat boy in me, yo, mouth started watering. I was like, how about we skip the podcast and go straight to, to dinner? dinner? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, shout out Justine Hong. I got you, G. Justine, thank you so much, baby, for, um, for holding me down. You were the first one to do visuals with me. Um, damn, I like, I like creamed on my paper. Damn, you did cream on your paper. That's why I keep not wearing my glasses. I can't see. Um, shout out to Empresa Eric. Impressive. He was, yo, that was a crazy episode. We were like so Son. hammered. What was it, $3 margaritas? Was that the first one me and you did together? Yes. Yeah, that was our first that was episode. First one. That was, um, first. that was the first episode. Yeah, that was a wild episode. We were hammer time. Then Illy was dope. We got drunk. We got I- drunk. The Illy episode. Illy episode was probably. You were pretty, you were pretty gone. This man was on first. This man was on first class <laughs> flying, son. I knew that. I, I saw him, the shit he pulled out, and I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm not touching he whatever. Goes, he goes, yo, pull slightly. It's 90% THC. I was like, I got it, I got he it. He was like, <laughs> this man was in... <laughs> Smash. 
<laughs> I was smack. Smack. That's when I knew I needed a partner because Loso like carried the episode for the first forty minutes. So thank you, Loso. Man was smack. Um, couldn't start the computer. Couldn't I couldn't. I messed up the mics. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> that was that was rough. Uh, shout out. Who was next? Then we went to New York. That's when I knew we were a tribe. We were a team. We we went to New York. We went in my little Nissan Sentra. <laughs> With my kids. Yeah. And they put me in the back with the kids. <laughs> Lowe's was in between two car seats. They put my big ass in the back with two kids, two car seats, bro. And they were throwing shit at me, putting food on me. Yo, yo, look, we, we look, yo, we're driving, right? And it's dead quiet in the car. And then you hear my daughter go, All right, you're the Paw Patrol. And Lo, she's like, she's like, hey, you wanna rescue me? And Lowe's is like, hey yeah, I'm right here. I'll rescue you. <laughs> Bro, I was playing with her paws. <laughs> Yo, he was I have a daughter Paw too, Patrol. man. I was playing. I was oh, making a little dog. You heard me bark. I was like, Erf, Erf, he was like, I was playing. Erf, Erf. <laughs> and him and Mike got quiet. He just started laughing. I was like, damn. Oh, and then he was like snoring in the back. And I took a picture and like my daughter was like sucked into his like side fat. Yo, that shit was hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> so shout out to that. We got to, uh, we went to Invaded New York for the Porting Day Parade 2017. We hooked up with Kixie Jixie, Kiki Widiti, uh, Laced Up MD, uh, TTK. We met UFO Fever in the hood. We, we went in the projects. Uh, with like we, right we, after yeah. the, the, the festival. festival. Yep. I mean, it was dirty, yeah, son. It was. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. yeah. So We uh, had Puerto Rican food on the street. No napkins, dog. <laughs> Using the back of my fucking t-shirt to wipe my mouth. <laughs> and we, we got the pollo, pollo guisado. Pollo guisado. And uh, that shit had it was so yo, good. Tabayana con hueso. It was full, filled with damn bones. Yeah, he, he, there was he, he no was chicken. It was and no it was, chicken. It was pretty expensive, too. It was expensive. But it was fire. It was fire. I don't know. It was fire. That was fun. So, um... We, we had, uh... Who else? Uh, Shaggy. 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 Patina we, we Tero was there. Beers at, uh, in Brooklyn. That was in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. We went to the... Classic uh, Material. Classic Material. Well, shout out to Classic Material. Carlos. Uh, he walked them us. He welcomed us, He too. did. He did. He did. Yo, we had we had a good. Then we then we went to the after party and we got him for free. Yo, Shout out, uh, a party a party named Rosie Perez. A party named called and I think it's a party called Rosie Perez. A party called Rosie Perez. Man, Christian, uh, Sucio Smash. That yeah. was dope. That was dope. That was dope. Yo, they had um. Yo, they had the icy. What did they have outside? Coquito. They had frozen coquito. Yeah, frozen coquito. Shout out Brooklyn coquito. Uh, that was a, oh, the one had, free shout out you get. Dog, that is one of the illest parties I've ever been to. And you know what's crazy? If you're in New York or in Connecticut or in Jersey, yo. Hit that shit up. The music's live. I mean, it was it was straight. They were handing it was out like 80s. Cheese. It was 70s, 80s, 90s. House music, salsa. House music. They mixed a little bit of today's shit, a little bit. Then it was hip-hop towards the end. We were leaving. That's the, true. They did the 90s New York hip-hop. They fucking gave us free empanadas. Empanadas. They were handing them out. Lowe's, you know, like, Lowe's ate like six. Relax. I ate one. <laughs> they were humongous. They were like the size of my sneaker. They were big as shit. They I were was, pretty big. Yo, I, I looked at... I, Sofrito was dancing. I was like... Yo! Shout out that one chick who was dancing between me and that other guy. Son. Remember? She, she, and she, I, was, she was sucia. <laughs> she was wasted. Yeah, but she was pretty fire. I ain't gonna lie. She was pretty fire. Yeah, she was. Oh, uh, Carmen, beautiful don't, women. Don't, yeah, beautiful Carmen, don't, women, don't watch that part of that episode. Um, <laughs> Shout out my wife. I love you. Um, I got pretty drunk too, dog. I yeah, think I did because I fell asleep in the back. It was funny because we were in the hood. We were just in the projects, right? And then we have to go to Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And none of us have been to Williamsburg before. And this is like hipster central. So we're driving. We're like, yo, where the fuck are yo, we? Yo, so many white people. Like, bro, I was like, dog, what the fuck are we? Are we in Beverly Hills? Like, I felt uncomfortable. Like, I, it just wasn't Brooklyn. Like, right? No, it was not. Um, yo, we went to that bar. The bartender was cool. Remember? She was cool. She yeah, gave she us a cool. member at breakfast. It was a coffee beer. Yeah, she gave us some coffee beer. Yo, we had a good year. Oh, we met DJ Wolf at Classic Material. DJ Wolf. Shout out to DJ Wolf. Um, we met a lot of people in New York. New, we York, went New to York. The, we went to the Copy Cool joint. The, oh, uh, and, and the Jordan store. Oh, shit. Jordan has Brooklyn. Peace. Jordan has Pierre. Brooklyn. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, man. Damn, we did a lot in those three days. Dog, we got a lot of shit done. I, I found those, uh, I found those Long Beach, uh, the Long Beach uh, Cortezes sitting, in Brooklyn. Sitting. I just couldn't find them. I didn't want to pay resale on eBay, and them shits were just sitting in Brooklyn. Like, I did my... Ma Yo, that's how you know I find shit, son. Like, how the fuck... I he did was my on Google. Dog, I he was on Waze. Instagram, Twitter, and I and I hit him up. And he went on MySpace to make sure there was no uh, stone I found unturned. Them I found a 13 in them shits, dog. 
in Long Beach. It was a Long Beach exclusive, and they had them in Brooklyn, just uh, sh- sitting. Shout out to Staten Island, uh, that twenty dollar uh, toll. Yeah, we were Man, pissed. Fuck, dog. This is fuck New York. Yeah, we had to pay twenty dollars to get over the bridge three times. Yeah, yeah. It was. <laughs> I said, "Yo, your turn. It's your turn." Yeah, I was like, "Fuck." I was like, "Okay." But... I was like, "Whose turn is it?" He was like, Mike, like twenty dollars. Fuck yeah. Uh, what else did we do this year? You became my co-host this year. Became, became, became one of the co-hosts. What else? Yo, we got good chemistry, dog. Yeah, definitely. We went to Arizona, the sneak disc. Yeah, I did the phone. He did. He was there live. Um, what else? What else we do? Oh, what else? No, I wrote, hold on. I have my list. I wrote it down. Yo, what else did we do? Yo. We had Illy. Oh, damn. Yo, yeah, yeah. Siete de Mayo, PR Day Parade. No, that was it. That was it. That was it. And that's it, right? That was it. That was it. 2018 is going to be on Smash, son. Oh, speaking of 2018, when I first started Last of the Sohicans, I did interviews. But since I had a co-host and we kind of revamped it, I had to make sure that me and my man was good. And now that I know that, that we're the Latino EPMD of podcasting, we'll be bringing more guests. Yeah, we are so getting we guests. 2018, we 2018, we're back on it. Yeah. Yeah. January 10th will be my two-year anniversary with the podcast. Speaking of podcasts, we have to start out by saying... God bless and rest in peace. Reggie Osei. Yeah. Combat Jack. Combat Jack. Moment of silence. Yeah. Moment yeah. of silence. Or right. bless you, brother. Um, that was hard. Two months. Two months, son. Two months. And, I, like, and, and just just from uh, experience of the whole cancer, dog, I don't wish that shit upon no enemy. Um... This is, this is for cancer right here. Yeah, man. Yo, one, two, three, son. All right. One, one two, two, three. three. Fuck, Fuck cancer. cancer. Yo, s- straight up. And um, if shit's real, man, if that shit's close to you, man, and if somebody's battling that shit, yo, you got to be there for them, man. It's um, Enjoy, enjoy your them. life. Yo, enjoy. Even if you don't have cancer, whoever's around you, friends, family, loved ones, you got a girl, you stay beefing with, who fucking cares, man? Love, love around you, man. It's that... There's no reason to beef, man. Life's too short. I mean, yo, you could be here right now and tomorrow you're dead. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move my yeah, right yeah, here. move move the but but all right, but we gonna keep it keep all it right. happy, man. So let's keep it happy. Let's get yo, into Los Angeles, son, man. This is yo, I can feel it, son. What do you have? What's in here? Awesomeness. Oh, okay, okay. Beverage racism. Before we get into Los Angeles, let's let's talk about some like Latin traditions. Let's talk about Latin traditions. What's a, what's a good Latin memory you have, Los? Of uh, being Salvador. You're you know what? You're El Salvadorable. <laughs> oh shit! That is so fire. I am El Salvadorable. You're El Salvadorable. What's it like See being me a- blinking at the camera? <laughs> what's it? What's a what's a Salvadorian tradition, G? Um, Salvadorians. Christmas for us consists of panes, panes de pollo, panes the de- nastiest thing ever. Relax, relax, okay. It's a chicken. It's a chicken leg with the bone in a piece of oh, bread. Oh, nah, then you haven't ate it right, son. Oh, I always eat it right, dog. No, you haven't. We don't. We don't have bones in our sandwiches. In our panas de pollo. I, I took that very offensive. I felt like you just called me the N word. <laughs> nah, uh, panas de pollo consists of fresh bread. Um. Yo, they, but they put bedro, they put tomatoes, lettuce, like, you know, regular sandwich, a little mayo. They put either the chicken or the turkey. Anyways, panes de pollo. We eat tamales, too. Tamales de pollo o puerco. Um, we drink. So, Salvadorians, a lot of Salvadorians drink Coronas. Um, oh, really? I would never have guessed. Coronas, Modelos. Uh, we drink a tequila. Tecate. <laughs> Tecate. <laughs> Tecate. Um, and we open presents at midnight. We party, just like every other... Why do, why do y'all celebrate on the 24th? I never understood that. Because Jesus Christ was born supposedly at midnight, I guess. I don't know. Did the three kings have a watch <laughs> in the manger? Uh, done. Uh, uh, Apple yep. watch. So the, uh, yep. uh, midnight. Midnight. We're there. Let's party. I mean, that's, that's sorry, just Jesus tradition, Christ. dog. We, just, <laughs> we, we open up presents at midnight. It's just been a tradition my whole life. Uh, 35 years is, I don't know. We open up presents at midnight. It's Coquito's making me Yo, sweat. Yo, that home. The whole opening presents in the you know go to sleep and then opening presents in the morning Ooh. that's a Caucasian classic. Caucasian classic. <laughs> yo, so what's a good what's a good memory? What's like the best gift? Uh, you ever best had? gift I've ever had for Christmas, yo. I don't know what year it is, but I remember the the year I got Super Mario Brothers three for the NES dog. 
yo, just just playing like Mario with the raccoon and him and flying. Fly? Yo, fire. <laughs> I played that game. Oh, I just remember getting Nintendo games, man. Yo, the, the, the feel of Grant Hills. Got those for Christmas one year. And it was, and then it, I was so happy to have them, but it pissed me off because my sister had them too. And I was so mad. I was like, yo, what the fuck did you get her those same shoes as me? Um, what else did I get for Christmas? I got the Iversons, the questions, the white and red ones, the first ones. Got those for Christmas one year. Um, I never got sneakers. Dude, I for always Christmas. I was always into sneakers, even as a as as a middle schooler and high schooler. I never got sneakers for Christmas as a gift. I did. Ever. I got them. I got I think them. I had what I think Papa got me a Ricky Williams jersey one year. That was pretty fire. Oh, Ricky, you was happy. I man. was happy. Do- Hold on. Dolphins or the Saints? The Saints, dog. Oh, Come on, classic jersey. Yeah. I actually have a picture upstairs in my room, and I'm going like this. I got a gold chain on. Oh, you fuck so, yourself. Oh, 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 I was getting it. That, that, that black Williams. and gold. So, uh, as you know. Zach Thomas Dolphin jersey. Fire, son. So, let's see. We had uh, Coquito. For, so, Puerto, oh, yeah, Puerto Ricans. Go ahead. Oh, you guys eat pernil, too, right? Pernil with arroz con gandules. Remember, though. I grew, we grew up in Miami. So yes, Cuban. we do eat pernil. Okay. Um, we 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 took a lot of tradition from the, the Caribbean. Caribbeans. So my godparents are Venezuelan, Colombian. So we do eat a lot of pernil. My family's a little, you know. Well, Latins, you know, Latins. Well, Latins. Latins. We yo, gotta be then, united, man. Then in the day, yo, fuck this so whole. hermanos. Yeah, we're Central all... America, South America, Caribbeans. At the end of the day, yo, Hispanics, Latinos, we stick together, bro. Was that joint? The Latino that joint? Yeah. Like that man. We gotta stick together. And we got the most beautiful women. Yes. Yes. Most we do. The most beautiful women. Yes. Con tetas y nalgas. Everything. Everything. Yo, we get everything. We're like the combo. You know, we get everything. Dog. Everything. <laughs> he said tetas y nalgas. Yes, with tetas y nalgas. Yo. That's the African, Yo, Spaniard, we, and, and, and native. We can get you in the pretty face and the pretty hair. Hell yeah. No homo, I got a little Come horny. see us. <laughs> yo, hey, son, go ahead. I Puerto Rican, son. I know, Come you, see us. You, you made me lose focus. Come you see made, us. Yo, yo, what? We got, yo, we got the most yo, beautiful yo, women. Yo, what was that joint from uh, 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 Waiting? Yo, what makes you think I won't cut you? <laughs> <laughs> that Galifianakis? Yeah, exactly. What makes you think I won't cut you? All right, so, All right, so, so Coquito. Remember, remember that episode when the light was on my face? <clears throat> yeah. It's the Coquito. I'm sweating, dog. This is it's making me. It's the Coquito. It's, it's making me sweat, it's dog. All right, so look. Let's talk about beverage racism. This is not Puerto Rican eggnog, okay? That's a Caucasian classic term, all right? Uh, eggnog? Eggnog, I had eggnog. I'm not a big eggnog guy. I had eggnog for the first time. Recently? J- like it's four I- days ago. No. This is way sexier. I don't know how you guys make it. We do not put eggs on ours. In, in, in the Brown, Sanchez, Diaz, Rivera, Cruz household, yes, all the last names. We use condensed milk, no, evaporated milk. Recipe. You right. Don't tell them the recipe. You right. No, don't, don't tell them the recipe. You right. I know it. You right. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, How gracias. did you come out? Um, not like this. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Put it like that. Not like this. This is not eggnog. We yeah. don't put eggs this in our nog. nog. We don't put eggs and in And this it. is like, you're supposed to sip on it, right? Correct. This is sexier. It's, it's not as thick as eggnog. All right? It's got alcohol in it. It's a clear alcohol, mm-hmm. not you a brown. Made, you, made this, uh, you made this batch? You damn right, baby. This is fire, son. I know it is. Representing with flavor, homie. I just feel like pouring it on myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go away now. <laughs> oh yeah, so that was it. No. <laughs> so look, this is not goddamn Puerto Rican eggnog. Do not go up to no Rican, no Caribbean, no Hispanic person and say, "Oh, Puerto Rican you mean eggnog. like it's like uh, Spanish eggnog?" No, it's coquito. That's it. The co in it, coke. <laughs> Sound like cock. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> the coke and coquito is for coco. There's coco in this shit, man. Yeah. So I had, I had my shout out to my. Um, my uh, homegirl, Lisa. So what if Johnny has a coconut allergy? Can he drink this? No. No. And if he, and if he has a, a Caucasian classic allergy, he, he definitely cannot drink this shit. Too much ethnicity in the bottle. So she goes, so I brought this right to this uh, little like brunch mm-hmm. at, at the work. place I used to work at. Yeah. And I gave her some. She goes, oh, I have eggnog. I said, no, no, no. I got coquito. So she pours me some eggnog and I pour her this. She drinks it. She was like. This is not eggnog. I said, exactly. She's like, you know, that's like beverage racism. It's like if you look at an Asian person and you call them Chinese, but they're actually Vietnamese. And I was like, God <laughs> damn. <Yeah. laughs> she thought this was eggnog. She was like, it's eggnog. Hey, hey, what's that? Remember the joint? He's like, I am Korean. Do I look Chinese? 
Yes, yes, motherfucker, you do look Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Dave Chappelle. All right, look, we're 24 minutes in. Let's, let's get into low so knows. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. One Christmas memory I have. <coughs> Shout out, and it kind of has to do with sneakers. Shout out to my Aunt Annie. One year, we were all getting hammered, and one of my cousins who passed away and got killed over Jordans. You had a cousin who lost for Jordans? Yep. He stepped on a Shut guy's Jordan. I kid you not. He stepped on a guy's Jordans. The guy had a razor, a gem star. Punched him and pierced his heart. Words are right, because he stepped on his Jordans. Wait, what, what year was this? This was, no, 98, 97. Damn, where, New York? New York. So anyway... Did the guy go to jail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got caught. He's in jail. But um, the guy, I mean, no, no disrespect to, to my family, but he, they, they, my, my cousin had it coming. He was an asshole. So uh, anyway, I don't wish death no, on nobody, but karma's a bitch. So anyway, so my, my grandmother is like the queen of shit talking, Okay. She was talking shit to my cousin. I mind you, my cousin's like, well, how old he? Like 16, 17 at the this time. He was mad young. passed away. Right. Okay. He was drinking because, of course, Spaniards don't have, you know, Spanish people don't have limits no, on. We've been on... drinking Bacardi since he was four years old. And four years old. <laughs> so he's drunk and he talks, he disrespects my grandmother. Did he push her? I can't remember. I think he pushed her. My Aunt Annie, mind you, my Aunt Annie was like a buck 20. He was sitting on a chair. She did the judo sweep. Jumped on him, and when I say I've never seen somebody get their ass whooped this bad in my life, she fucked him up. Nigga, she got on top of him and went, Fuck it, the 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 fuck I mean, like for real. And mind you, and this Annie, the one that's upstairs, my DT Annie, the one that we stayed with, yes. Yo, she's so sweet, too, son. She whooped his ass. Yo, she's the day before Christmas, it was on the 24th, and he deserved it. Oh, he deserved it. He pushed my grandmother. Yeah, you don't touch. You don't push no old woman. You don't disrespect no old person. No. So uh, this one's for you, Titi Annie. Salud. And your cousin, man. And my rest cousin. In yeah, rest in peace. You know. Yeah. yeah. Even though we just. Yeah. All right. So now that we got all sentimental and Hispanic and shit, let's get into low so knows, baby. Um. Let's do it. Let's start with. So we talked about Complex Con a few episodes ago. Um, those Air Force ones that were super limited and stuff. They finally dropped everywhere. Got my hands out of the four pack. I got three. Um, they're not all mine. Two of them are gone. I still have them though. So have them for you guys. So I don't you know start the with? logic. Start whatever. I'm gonna start with the one I kept. I'm the sweating. I, I'm coquitoed out. I'm like sweating. Bong, 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 bong. I remember when those first came out. Came out the first time. Rockefeller silent. What's the difference? They made they made better leather. Very soft. Um, you ever rub your leather? I never rub my leather. Rockefeller logo. They're plain. They're white on whites with a Rockefeller logo. So I remember those first came please, out. That, that's when Air Force so One. I remember they made them real limited though. They made it real the limited. Day, yeah. No, I thought it was a promo <coughs> run. Yeah, it was a family and friends and. I remember when this was all that mattered with Air Force One. Yeah, that's it. It could be anything. It could be any. It could be white on white. It could be green well, on well, green. You had a little logo. If you there. had that little logo there, you were official. And I'm glad they're bringing this back. Yeah, I like it. What'd you think? Oh, I mean, I love it. It's classic. It's, it's a classic. classic, yeah. The white on white Air Force One is the greatest sneaker ever made. Yeah, yeah I can't, yeah. That and the, and the Chicago one, the original. Yep. One. Argue with me. I dare um, you. The number two out the pack. How you feel about those? Acronyms. What, are, what are those? What are those? Um, acronyms. Um, they're cool, man. I, I think the Lunar Force bottom, they're fucking, they're funky. They're weird. They're um not my cup of tea, but uh, Acronym is a Japanese brand. And oh. oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know. Now you can see this. Now I see. Now I, now now I see why touch. there's so many Asian cats uh, where I can these. <clears throat> he said it. He's like, yo, I only see Asian cats wearing that I shit. I did. I was, like, I was like, only Asian cats I see rock this, and now I see why. Yeah, man. That's an Asian. Yeah, I can't do the zipper. Uh, yeah, that's, that's crazy. So. Yeah. So these are... Uh, Different in a weird pattern, leather on the back. Oh. They're just futuristic, son, right? Well, Japan has always been like 40 years yeah, above, they're ahead, of, ahead of America. Yeah, for sure. And then we'll be the first ones to talk shit. These people are so limited and primitive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it's true. You know that Japan has a train that can go like from, <laughs> from like five miles in 30 seconds. And we got the metro. <laughs> yeah, <definitely. laughs> Shout out, Blue Line. Um, and the third out the wall, there's the only one I didn't get was the Travis Scott's. I never, I didn't like those. Uh, I mean, but I'm not gonna lie, them. people, I think out of all the ones, oh, the just dons, the just dawn highs, man. And These you said those were 200, that's not bad for just two. Don. Uh, they sat in some boutiques, man. 
Um, you see that? You know why? We got a tan leather inside. Yeah, we don't have zoom leather. capability, so I'm gonna do my own zoom. Go ahead, my arms are longer than yours. I'm longer than you. Pause. Look at that tan inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, it got that this, the white snake skin. Look um, at the detail. Air Force One High. Look, th- that looks like the Jordan what four, right? Yeah. That thing. Jordan Two Back. So Jordan Two Booty. And the Air Force Three tongue. So he just like kind of did like a what the Air Force One. Yeah, he did like a hybrid, <laughs> man. Imagine these in a different color. I can't actually. Yeah, he might fuck it up. Yeah. I can see him trying to make it like like a like a Chicago color. I can see like that. a Bulls color. Shout out Air Force One. Just Don. Wait, 35 oh, it's years, not even right? just Don. Don C. Don C. Yeah. Shout out uh, 35 years, Nike Air Force and then One. They got the gold trimming. Man, these shoes are fucking... They are fire. Yeah, the gold trimming. Mean, just the detail on them. I'm man. just glad that they stuck with the white on white. Yeah, I like that. That shit was clean. All four of them good were shit, all Good shit, Nike. Good shit. Good job, Nike. I love it. Um, What else? What we got? I didn't bring shit this time. I'm drinking. I'm just here to spectate. Well, dude, uh, the, the... What are these called? The, 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 no. The Spiritons. Nike Spiritons. Stash or Haze? The, these are the Stash. Stash. Stash collab. A little Stash... Stash color. Can I tell you something about this sneaker? Because it has been worn three times. And I'm going to tell you why I've worn them three times. These are comfortable as shit. Like, the Nike Speardons is probably super slept on. Like I've never heard of Speardons. Dog, you see how this is like... Did you ever try on like the D- the Reebok DMX? DMXs? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like almost like that on the bottom. It's like... I, you, need to, you need to wear them and walk around in that. And it's it looks crazy. like an Air Max 95 top. Yeah, it's yo. I fuck with them, dog. But, but I, like they have other colors of the spirit on. I just don't feel them. But this color is just because it's a classic stash colorway. So so I, I was just about to say that. So give a little history lesson because you know we're all about edutainment and last of the Sohicans. Yep. Who is Stash and how many um, collabs? Graffiti has he done? artist, New York City. Um, I mean he's on the same boat as Eric Hayes. Um, what are the graffiti artists, man? I can't Futura. even. Futura. Futura. He's just he's done collaboration with Nike. He's he's had what an Air Max ninety five. He's had an Air Force One in the past. Um, he's he's just fire. notorious. So they they sat in they sat in a lot of places. You know why? Because Nike released way too much stuff in November. They OD and they man. were like the Pusha no, T's are still sitting. November December. December oh, they, Pusha T's and are, are Adidas. Well, I meant I meant yeah, just but everything in general. Just too it much. was and, and they were all like two hundred plus, all of them. Um, of course, the only Adidas I brought is the um. Holiday one. Hi, beast. <laughs> and these are the... But what I have to call The frozen tints or the blue tints? I have to admit, I like that color. I you still like hate it? Yeezys. I hate yeah, that color. clean, man. I like this, like, mint. It's like a right minty, here. holiday icy... Mentos, the fresh maker. maker. Yeah, so, like, typical Adidas. I probably won't keep these, but... You think you think next year they're, they're going to be... Uh... Uh, next year they're bringing... I heard they're bringing out just, like, regular, like, all one color weights. Ooh, speaking of next year, I heard that Jordan is going to make it harder <coughs> to get retros in 2018. That's still not going to make me want to buy a lot of them just because... I'm just saying. Because the designers, I mean, if they start doing collabs, we'll see what collabs, what do they have. But come on, man, they just keep coming out with weird ass fucking colorways and like, we'll see, man. Right. And they're bringing 30 different colors of the Jordan one. What do you think of that? I like the Gatorade ones. I don't. I like them. Don't care for them. I like, but the I do like that it. Gatorade Six. The green one is gonna come out. I don't like that one. Fire, dog. I think you're whack. <laughs> I think your Jordan Gatorade ones are whack. I think your uh, <laughs> face is fucked. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I actually like the packaging, and I love the whole campaign behind it. I, I always love campaigns. I like them. Yo, up next, two ninety sevens. What is this color? This is a beige. What supposed to be this? like a beige pink. I don't know. Give me that one. What'd you think? This is beautiful. What you is like this? It? Yes. Slept on. What is this? It's called the beige. It's supposed to be a beige color. Very slept on. Yo, I got it dumb cheap. People slept on it. It was a quick strike too. Who who's who who designed Ain't no this? Ain't no collab. It's just it's just just they just dropped it and uh, sat in place. You know these are my colors, right? You know these. I are know. My... So what do you? What is it? A salmon. Like a, a salmon rose, yo. So my wife bought this me is this. Fucking fire. Yo, my wife this bought me. A, you know why I haven't worn this? Is a summertime. This is summertime. Oh, absolutely. This is a sexy my wife summertime. bought me a Kango that's this color. So I go in the store, right? And I was looking for a gray one, and I go to the guy and I go, I go, oh shit, I like that pink one. He goes, uh, 
brother, that's Rose. I said, excuse the fuck out of me. <laughs> and so I actually well, had the was perfect a, Was a brother Pato? No, no, no. no. Okay. He was a brother. Like, a brother. A brother. A brother. Norfolk's a brother. finest. Okay, so these, shout out to Sneaker Feet. He saw these joints. Um, They have the USA flag on them. And what's this is they made a country camo pack. So I guess uh, Germany got a pair, Tokyo, or Japan, Italy, France, England, and England. And I feel, I feel my, I was talking to a few of my boys. Uh, shout out Joey Lynch, shout out DJ E. I was talking to them. This is very country, country hunting camo. It is right. That is very Fredericksburg. Yes. So. What's that shit? Sneaker fame John said Deere? these are the Donald Trump 97s. And now that I think about it, dog, they kind of are. Country camo, fucking American flag. These are the Trumpito 97s. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since he said that, I can't look at these the same. Look at these, son. I'm probably going to get something to wear with them at Walmart. Be careful, because um, if he catches you with those, he might deport your ass. Yeah, he's probably going to deport me. What'd you think? I didn't... I think they're clean. I, I like I like nice. old school camo. I don't really like that camo. They should have done it like the old school New York City. Like this is the right. old school camo. The boot American. can't click. Uh, you know, grungy. Nah, this is the fucking Donald Lost Trump. Lost boys. This is the Donald Trump. Um, go back. To, go back to Mexico camo. Um, oh, and what's cool about these is you can take the. Oh, so look, that's perfect. Hey, like hey, uh, like hey. Uh, look, look. So I might like, end up taking. Look, 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 look. I can see a, a Mexican cat walking down, but like. <laughs> Are you an illegal? <laughs> no, my friend. <laughs> no, my friend. I God bless America. Yeah, I like man. to live in America. I like these though, man. I think they're fucking fire. To me. I like the orange on the bottom. Yeah, I like they, this. It is like hunting. gear. That is hunting gear. <sighs> and this makes it worse. <laughs> that's, that's look. You see what flag I got on? Oh man, the only right. flag I really care I about. One more, and I got these from my alley oop in Miami. Oh, well, before you forget, man. Shout out to the. Uh, I oh, like yeah, like these. Yeah, the ugly yeah, Christmas sweaters. Sure. I got For you. sure. Um, ugly Christmas sweaters. Yo, I wore the shit out of these um, the last two, three weeks. Love them, dog. They're just a concept collab. The third out of the pack. They made a few a few years ago. Los, what the hell size is this? 13. Jesus, Christmas. <laughs> I got big feet, man. <laughs> um, the top three golds. Bam. 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 Um, these were supposed to be a Compass Con release only, as you know. That's bullshit. Everything for Compass Con that was supposed to be an exclusive. Re released. Yeah, of course. They got to make their money. But uh, I bang with these, dog. You don't like them? I'm, I'm over the patent leather. That was, that was 06, 05. I'm done. Oh, 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 oh microphone. I'm going to hit the mic. <laughs> Bam. Bam. I love this patent leather, but I know as soon as I wear these, it's going to look like a it's geriatric. It's a fucking wrap. So we'll see. If I get the right trade, I might get rid of these. We'll see. I'm just tired of seeing Jordan 1s. That's it. Tired of Jordan ones. Just tired of Jordan. Well, get ones. ready because next year is 30, 30 different colors coming and out. And I will be ignoring the shit out of all thirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, f- I fuck with these, dog. I like the top threes. How they're di- it's a different shoe. It's just it's a cool concept. But you'll see what, what Jordan and Nike do is they milk the shit out of everything they that's, that's going good for them. And um, it's a clean. It's a clean. It's clean. It's clean. It's clean. I know Classic Materials got a top three uh, Biggie, Jay-Z, Nas hoodie coming out. Oh, word. And gold. Black and gold. Perfect. That's smart. Hey, he, yeah. he knows what's up. All right. Uh, cool, uh, cool. I didn't bring anything because I didn't feel like it, but yeah, I will top, say... Oh, my... You want some top? Don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> like, relax. You want, you want the top? Like, sucio. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sucio, sucio. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my body. <laughs> my, my body. body. My body. Um, I didn't bring anything, but I will have Mike Black put picture in picture. It's going to be right here. <laughs> Of some shoes that I think you guys should know about. There's these green Feli's Tennis Classics with a gum bottom that are amazing. Shout out to Feli Fresh, who always post the dopest Feli's. Are they new? They're very, they just came out. Okay. Pony. Haters going to hate. Is it product I, of New York or is it of New, of New York? Product of New York. Okay. Remember Ali Vegas? I don't remember, remember Ali that, Vegas. You never remember the rapper Ali Vegas? Okay. Well, no. He used to call himself P- the Pony, Prince of New York. All right, anyways, go ahead. Uh, pause. <laughs> you go ahead. Product of New York. They have a burgundy. It's called Top Star. Yeah, you show me. Fire. Those are fire. Yeah, those are fire. Those are fire. Those are fire. Get you some, like, clean jeans, a nice, you know, nice little 
gray top, maybe a dope ass. Oh, whatever. That's old school to me. Uh, what else am I looking forward to? I don't even remember. Those are the only two I remember that I care about. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I wore That's Wallabies it. today. Wallies. Yeah. Uh, I'm Wally King. I didn't care about shoes. Just being honest. You, 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 you put the red on it, the different flavors. I did, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah for know. sure. Have it looking like marble cake. Yeah, marble cake. That's how we do it, dog. All right, so, uh, oh, uh, when you watch these episodes, we're in HD. Don't be like my dumbass who owns the channel or whatever you want to call it, who started the channel and didn't realize you can change the uh, HD level from 720 to 1080p. So put it on 1080p? So put it on 1080p. All right. It takes Mike three days to process that damn thing so it can be high quality for you. So don't be like my dumbass. Put it on 1080p. Yep. Even on YouTube, even on mobile, because I was watching on my on my on my phone. You put it 1080p? No, I had it on 360, like a dumbass. I'm, oh, like, I'm like, why does this still look so grainy? <laughs> I hit the button. I said, God, I'm stupid. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. So that's, that's hilarious. All right, so let's see here. For the record. For the record. You want me to start first? What do you want? You want to end it? Let me go first, and then you go, because you always end it. I mean, what I what I want is standing over there. My wife, right. didn't, my wife didn't give me Christmas right. ass. I said it. I wanted it too. You want a Feliz Navidad yeah. booty? Yeah, I wanted, I wanted that Feliz Navidad ass. All right, we're going to start off with, um, real quick, West Side Gun, West Side MF Doom. Doom. Yo, shout out Shady Records. I mean, I don't know, honestly, yo, you know what's crazy about this whole Shady Records, MF Doom, and, and Griselda shit? I don't see them. I'm not going to. I don't see them. Me neither. I think I think this is a novelty signing. It is just a, just 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 for the look. Just for the look. Um, That's like Gerald Ortiz, Eve, and Who and, and Buster Rhymes and Raekwon when they signed to Aftermath, yeah. Yeah. and nothing happened. This is pretty fly though. Fire. West Side Doom. Yeah, hey, yo. West Side Doom. Um, cassette uh, released by Dope in London or in England or Daoop or however you say it. Yeah, they made a super limited cassette and uh, got lucky enough to get my hands on it. Hold on, we gotta. Uh, I think I think I want to do a cassette. Shout out to my mayologist. Uh, Slash of the Sohegans cassette. Yeah, cause I have like this, I have this artwork of um, Doo Wop and Tony Touch that my that TDK, yeah. TTK did. I think I'm gonna do a cassette tape. Do like Doo Wop and Tony Touch lyrics with Wu Tang beats. No, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, cause it's, it. it's the Diaz brothers, but like with the all yeah, the people yeah, links. I remember that? Yeah, that's just we should fire. do that. Gems from the Equinox. Top five album, 2017. Bought, yeah, top five. Easy. T- top uh, five. 2017. I bought this from like fucking Mayhem Loren himself. And he That's not hip hop. And he didn't pay me. He fucking charged me 10 bucks. PayPal. That's not bad. Um, Him and DJ Muggs album. If you haven't fucking heard this, you fucking sleeping, dog. If you haven't heard this, I want you to do something. I want you to stop what you're doing, go outside, get hit by a car. I'm kidding. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I know, right? I'm, yeah. I'm kidding. Relax. I'm kidding. Uh, I, love, I love everybody. Yo, Merry, Merry Christmas. How ill is this? Jesus Christ with Uzis. Being Christmas with Uzis. <laughs> it's like, uh, let's open presents, celebrate my life, and let's go rob a bank. Um, DJ Muggs. Yo, Muggs is still have it, though. He still has it. Muggs has it. I, I told y'all in the Chris in the what, what was it? The uh, Autograph to Loso, Mayhem Loren. In the Halloween episode, I told you Murder Rap is the best song. It is, though. Right now. I have yet to play this. Just cause Top like, five albums 2017, though. I'm glad I have this hard copy. Um, top yeah, five. Top, top five. five. Right now? Yeah. Oh, we, we'll, we'll go over. After after we do the vinyls, we'll go over the top. All right. I was just, I'm excited. All I'm going to say is 2017 is probably the best year in hip-hop for this decade. From 2010 till now, best. Well, a decade is 10 years. Because I'm going to read the list of everything that's dropped. Yeah. It's the, uh, the decade of the last seven years, the best year. That's not a decade, Los. That's I that, know. That's that Salvadorian so math. Um, so far, is the best. In the past seven years. In the, okay, in the past seven years. In the years. past seven years, this is the best decade. <laughs> From 2010 to 2010. Shut up. Um, sob Stories. Got it signed by Bron- Action Bronson. Had to show off a little bit. What's the best Action Bronson song? Ever? Ever. I like the symbol. That's my joint. Early Bronson. I love, um, what's the shit he did with Alchemist? What's that album called? Rare Chandeliers. That's a fucking dope ass album. You don't like it? That's a, what? Yeah, it's a classic. Of course I love that album. Yeah. 
I don't really like the two last Bronson albums. Because he made it. He don't care no more. He <laughs> made money. I like Mr. Wonderful and Chip 7000, Blue Chip 7000 could have been better. A lot of just. He, he made it, to. dog. He made, he made it. it. He, he made it. it. He, he made it. He made it. He made it. Um, so what are we going to start off? We're going to start off with another MF Doom shit. Oh, not MF Doom. Uh, West Side Gun. You you really love some West yeah. Hitler Wears Hermes, part one, on vinyl. That oop is his uh, copy 157 out of 187. Wow. Um, oh, get it? 187, like the brand? I got yeah. it. I got it. Hitler Wears Hermes on vinyl. This is the first one of the first West Side Gun mixtapes on vinyl. Have you heard Rachel Flood? Nah. That's one of the artists. Do you Google 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 Look it up. Go on YouTube. Um, I got the fucking West Side Doom shit on vinyl. You are a stan, loves. Yeah, 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 you were man. making fun of me for my ghost face pictures. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. But you paid money. I didn't pay money for those pictures. Yeah, I got these. I might got these. I think Mike got a copy of this shit too, son. So how'd you feel about this uh, collaboration? It was cool. It, it, it's, I don't think they did it in the studio too. I think do. Oh, MF Doom just lost his son. Son, fourteen years old. What happened? You know. Nope. I'm surprised he even publicized it on Instagram. Yeah. Um. Got a. Second copy of this. Bam. Midnight Marauders Tra- mi- no, or this? this is low end theory. No, I, I know, damn it. Midnight Marauders Ooh. or low end theory? <sighs> Midnight Marauders. Yeah, Midnight Marauders. I personally think Midnight Marauders is better than low end theory. Uh, but I tell you what. But why, ex- why does this one resonate ex- so much? Excursions well, is fucking fire. Wait, this album starts? Okay. I haven't heard this album in a long time, I ain't gonna lie. What, what, name, name, name the tracks, what's the classic? Excursions, Bugging Out, classic. Um, what else? Uh, check the Rhyme. <laughs> um, jazz, we got the jazz, we got, got the jazz. And dog, Sky Pages, Fire, and Scenario. Come on, man. Do I have to say anything? No. Scenario. I just want people to know. How was it? Yeah, Scenario. Butters... Butter's dope. Um, this is a great album. This is a classic. This is definitely Five Micah, for sure. Absolutely. That's Fine one Micah. of the true classics in hip-hop. Five Micah, but so was Midnight Marauders is a Five Micah, too. Just think Midnight Marauders is just a better overall album. I agree. This is, this is back when hip-hop labels and the remember, audience... But you got to remember, the la- before this, this is a second Tribe album. The first Tribe album was very... Um, uh, how do you put it? Very... They were weird. Remember? So if he, so if, daishikis and so if he would let me finish my statement. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. This is an example of the fans and the industry allowing artists to grow. So yes, they had they their grew. first come out. Then they did the Low Ending Theory, which is classic, and then Midnight Marauders was like more polished. Yeah. Nowadays, if your first album doesn't do anything, they don't even give you a chance. Yeah, to Yeah, their their first album was not as good. It was okay. It wasn't bad. It was classic. It, yeah, yeah, I think classic. Ten, I think technically it got five mics. Yeah, it did. So. The three of their, they got three fight Mike joints. No, I thought Midnight Marauders got four and a half. Did it? I think They're so. Tripping, that's their best album. I think so too. Well, they gave they, they, they gave Capital though. Punishment four mics, and they gave uh, uh, Only Beautiful Cubelings four and a half. And they gave Reasonable Doubt four. four. Doggy Style only got four, four two. No, four and a half, four they and a half, five. No, they got four and a half. Doggy they got style. five. No, four and a half. They got five. No, they they got the sweatshirt. I seen the four and a half mics. They got five. Okay, they got five. Okay, okay, okay. So Flito, they got five. Yo, n- next. Uh... Okay, man. Can you cuss me out now? Yes. Hey, you a fucker, man. <laughs> Yo, you didn't get it. It just sat there. That's why I didn't get it, because I knew it was going to sit. I was going to get it when I came back, and I you came back. You're a liar. Look, I'll sell it to you. I'll give it to you for what? I'm not giving you my Dipset album. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Yo, what you think, no, son? No, for real. Can I, I, can I have this? Can I get your Dipset album? You can't be an Indian giver. Go. <laughs> no, you can't. Hey, like, I anyways, didn't miss that album. The Riddler, Met the Man, classic song. Um, <laughs> have you seen the music video? <laughs> it's weird. Because he's in a fat suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's funny, dog. They made Met the Man fat, right? Um, he's wearing, like, goggles. Yeah. It's like a dark, it's a dark music video. Keeping it real, this was my favorite Batman movie out of the uh, first original four. This was my favorite one with Val Kilmer. Is this with the Penguin? No, that was number two. This is the one with uh, nah, Riddler and, pit- and Two Face. I think the pit- <sighs> the Piddler, <laughs> the pit- the Piddler. <laughs> the no, the Penguin one was good. Dark. Them Tim Burton ones were weird. Were weird. Is this a Tim Burton one? 
No, right? No, 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 no. Yeah. No, it's Sam Burton production. No, but Joel Sh- Schuheim or whatever, he produced it. He directed it. Los, you ain't be calling me out all, all, you know. First of all, it's four and a half mic shit. Now, now Joe's Tim then, Burton. <laughs> and then we're going to end it with this. DOC is funky enough. The fucking production on this, produced by Dr. Dre. What you think, son? Now, Los and I do not talk about what we're going to bring. No, we don't tell each other anything. So I see that in his pile, and I brought the album. And I got the single. No one could do it better. For the record, ah, no pun intended, this is my favorite beat ever in hip hop. Is it? Yes. Um, I gotta play it. Play it. Bum, bum. So, for the record, the DOC, he was like the fifth member or sixth member, whatever, of NWA. He wrote. He wrote to the chronic. Him and Snoop. Him and Snoop. He had an accident which messed up his vocal cords. If that didn't happen, when I say he pro- he would be the one of the goats if that didn't happen. Of course. That's a fact. Yeah, he was be- he was a better rhymer than Snoop was. His articulation, he hardly cursed. Yeah. I am not illiterate. Yeah. Not even a little bit. Yo, he was disgusting. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? My pops, when I used to steal his CDs, he had this in there. And if my father had it, I knew I had to listen to it. I knew it was classic. I went on YouTube. I watched the videos. He was um, Dallas, Texas, right? He's from Dallas. From Dallas. And he's Erica Badu's baby daddy. Well... One out of the ten that she has. How many kids does she have, son? Too many. With like that's one of her baby daddies. Yeah, the DOC. I did not know that. I might be lying. She's Susia, bro. No, no, no. Remember, because they thought Common was the baby daddy, yeah. and then it was him. <laughs> Come on, yeah. 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 Hell yeah, dog. Mm. Dr. Dre, dog. If that doesn't give you the I got a boo boo face, then you're full of shit. <laughs> yeah. If you don't if you don't listen to the song go, mm, like that you got fart, good. This is good. Oh, I got this on tape. I'll bring it next time. Look at that. I don't think I've ever I didn't bring it. Oh, this is back when like Afrocentris I always mess up that word. Afrocentris whatever. Afrocentricism. African. Afrocentricism, something like that. This was the joint. DOC. No one could do it better. Ah, ah, so unfortunate. All right. Los, I don't know what your beef is. So go ahead and speak on it. I went to Phoenix, and they said who was the top MC of all time. I said KRS-One, and they crucified me. (laughs) And I stand by that statement. He has about eight classics in a row. From 1987 to 1997, he released nothing but classics, and they all went gold. He's a great right rapper. Shut the hell up. <laughs> He's not better than Nas, though, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this will be the last episode that we ever do <laughs> <laughs> for that blasphemous statement. Oh, man. Anyway. I respect KRS, man. Criminal-minded. Rest in peace, Colin Rock. He's not in my top five. How? Because I can name you ra- other rappers I'd rather have than him. He's not in your top ten? No. Can I start naming rappers that are on my list better than him? Can I smack the shit out of you? <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go you've, ahead. Been, you've been waiting for this. Go yeah, ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So Nas is better than KRS-One. Notorious B.I.G. is better than KRS-One. Nas is nuts. He Sean only had two Car- albums. Jay-Z is better than <laughs> KRS-One. No, he's not. Big Pun is better than KRS-One. Come on, man. You know that. All right. You, you gotta, I didn't say anything on that one. Coogee Rap is better than KRS-One. No. Red Man is better than KRS One. Red Man is way better than KRS One. <laughs> Did you hear that dead silence? Ice Cube is I better could, than KRS One. I can hear a rat fart. L Cool J is better than KRS One. Rock Kim is better than KRS One. I'll give you that one. More? I think I named ten already, right? No. You already thought that there were seven years in a decade, so I knew you couldn't count the ten. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the hell up. BDP, Boogie Down Productions, KRS-One. Then it's KRS on my list. Scott LaRock. 
Very classic. The yeah, bridge is, is over. South bro. What's the hey, what's the best? What's your favorite solo KRS album? Oh, Return of the Boom, Return Boom Bap. Bap. Yes. Return of the Boom Bap. That's my favorite that. KRS. Return of the Boom Bap. No question. I think I like I like that more than I like this album. I agree. I agree. Return of the Boom Bap is KRS's best work ever. And then the other one too that he did right after what premiere. I think KRS, KRS the premiere. It's called KRS One. Fire. Right? Yes. Yes. So look, very famous because he did the infamous. Damn, this is original print. Original, son. I know. The bridge is over when he fought MC Shannon and the Juice Crew. South Bronx. South Bronx. My nine yeah. millimeter goes bang. I know. I know. You're the one talking shit, not me. I know what this <laughs> the is. The bridge is over. Super ho. Super ho. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. It's a great album. It's a great album. It's just definitely this and Return to Boom Bap. But he's still not better than. He's not better than Rem, man. Shut up. I'm. I, <laughs> Shut, shut up. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> this is one of the greatest albums ever. He said Guru. Hell yeah, Guru. Guru! Get off the live feed. <laughs> nah, I, I'm with you. I'd rather listen to Guru. Yo, Gangstar, Gangstar's music versus KRS-One music. I brought this because we haven't showed right, the West Coast love. Me. I am ignoring you. Too short. Oh, damn. Life is too short. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna catch hell for this, but I don't care. Too short is one of the greatest... Entities, rappers, MCs of all time. He may even be the number one slept on underrated artist in hip hop of all time. You know what? I can't even be mad at that because a lot of people stole shit from him, son. A lot of people stole shit from, from Too Short. For fucking vocabulary, for slang. fucking slang. The pimp persona. P- pimp persona, the, just his vibe. He was a trendsetter and he did the shit on his Independent. own. Independent. Yep, did it on his, his own. own. Mm hmm. And watch it. Have you ever watched him doing interviews? Nah. One of the greatest interviewers. Bitch! Ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be serious. This nigga, Bitch! Dog. He can go tell platinum. Me, he can go me, platinum dog. just because of that. That's. I can't say anything else, man. I love that shit, I dog. I love Too Short. Bitch! <laughs> Always, dog. Bitch, what's my favorite Bitch! Word? Why you gotta say it like short? One of my favorite little flip lines. He goes, uh... Ah, oh, damn it. What'd he say? Born on stage, died on wax. <laughs> is this... Is this what, what number album is this? Two. This is number two? Two. Born to Mac was number one. Damn, this man... What year was this? 1988. This man has songs. 88. This man... <laughs> This man has songs in 1988 called Pimp the Ho, City of Dope, Don't Fight the Feeling. Cuss words. Nobody does it better. Oakland. How many cuss words is on this, son? Is it super dirty? Oh, it's dirty. Dirty as shit, right? What did he say? He goes, he goes, like, too short said, bitches ain't shit. That was my joint. When Little Flip said that, that was the best part. Too short. John Sucker MC, though. Oh, so he killed MC. Right. Right. Rest in peace. John, John Sucker, Sucker MC, MC Doe, born on stage, died oh, on wax. Nice. I mean, he was killing cats. People sleep on too short. Yeah, very slow. And he's on. got like 75 albums. Jay Z stole a lot of his swag. He was on a song with Biggie on Ready to, uh, Life After Death. Yeah. And held his own. I'm re- ready to Die. No. no, Life After Death. Life after death. I, trust me. The song with Biggie's like when the system, uh, when the Remy's in my, my system, system ain't, ain't no yeah, telling him for fucking with this. Um, that's what I be telling you on my pimp out. What I'm pimp by blood. blood, no relation. Yeah, Jay Z stole that shit too. Yes, after. he did. Yeah. That's why Jay Z's not one of the greatest because he bites. Nah, Jay got. Some I'm not a biter. I'm a writer. Jay Z got some real shit, son. All right, dude. That's it. That's what I brought. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, wait. I brought. So my OG Edgar Calhoun. I said Edgar Calhoun. Edgar Munoz, aka Stax Calhoun. He was like, "Hey, man, you guys should decorate, you know, the basement with posters." So I bring this, and Los is like, "Why is this not framed?" <laughs> I said, I don't know. He's like, Sean Price signed He's that? He's tripping. So rest in peace, Sean signed Price. Signed by Sean P. Sean Price, boot camp click. Signed right there. You got to see this. 2010. And Shout this out shit Kama is not Wolf. framed? Nope. Yo, Sean Price passed away. This shit has to be framed. Tell, tell Carmen and the girls to come down with the instruments. This has to be framed. Oh, albums of the year. Top, yep, top five. Real quick. Top five? Well, I'm just going to name it real quick. I'm uh, not going to uh, break oh, it down. Oh, you got a list. I got a list. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Raekwon the Wild. Ooh, I forgot about that one. That Rock Marciano, Rosebud's Rose Revenge. Revenge. Yes. Come on, come on, real quick. I did a rant on Instagram while I said I sleep on albums on purpose. This is what I mean by that. In this age of Insta, whatever, people forget about albums real quick. quick. So I wait on purpose five to six months. For the hype. 
to find everything that died down, and then I digest yeah. and I go, "Oh shit!" So me being so You're excited, notorious for that, yes. So for me being excited, it gives that album. A second win. I'm like, you're the only one kind of on it. Exactly. So then people go, damn. So what are you on right now? Are you on that Rock Marciano Rose Buzz? Rose Buzz Revenge. Revenge. It's very good, son. We slept. I I slept on purpose. I slept. I slept. I listened to it in the beginning, but I just went back to listen to it and it's fucking disgusting. It's definitely, it's it's what his sophomore album should have been. Reloaded? It's better than Reloaded. Yeah. It's better than Reloaded. Um, Crime Apple Metralleta. Check that shit out. Fire. Conway Goat. Okay, remember I told you on like the production. Yeah, you you it's know. very grimy though. So it's one of those albums that I'm it's it, it'll grow on you very dark. Static Select the Eight. If you haven't checked that out, fire. Pull the curtain back with no malice. Static no malice. Select the Eight that. is fire. As a compilation, great. Hus King, Hus Better Hus, than Hus, DJ Khaled. <laughs> oh, for sure. Hus King Ping, Cocaine Beach, great album. My, shout out Mike Black. Mike he Black. put us on to that. Sean Price, Imperius Rex, great album. Um, Wu Tang Clan, the saga continues. What is fire? Um, Cameron, the program, I enjoyed it. Some people liked it, some people didn't. I forgot about Cameron. Jay Z's 444. Four, four. This is my apology right now. It is one of those albums that the die, it, the, the hype has died down. Go back, listen to it. Man, definitely one of Jay's best works, man. Um, Especially if you're on that older mentality, like you're, you know, just listen to it, man. The, his wordplay, it's a great album. Um, album of the year to me, I'm not gonna say it, but definitely Mayhem Loran, DJ Muggs. I love it. Gems from the Equinox, Rhapsody. Um, oh, damn. Lay- Layla's, uh, what is it? Layla's uh, Revenge. Revenge. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Ninth Wonder, bro, still has it. Um, hold on, I'm missing something else. I sk- oh, Sci High the Prince. Fucking Kanye, you're dumb for not pushing this guy, for not putting him it's on top. It's not his fault. It's the people. It don't matter. Sci High the it's Prince's the fucking album, No Dope on Sundays, is phenomenal. You said that Pusha T versus. Oh, yuck. Gross, dog. Um, and what else? I'm missing something. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. I think I forgot. I can't. No Malice, Let the Dead Bury the Dead. Yes. Sleeper, Master Killer. It wasn't a classic. But it's a good album. Loyalty is royalty. That's my little two cents. And is that it? I think that's it, though. That's it. Great out, great year in hip hop, bro. In the past decade. In the, in the past decade, whatever. All right, so it's your boy Sofrito, the <laughs> representative of Flavor, your host with the most, my man to the left, who's always the best. Los Do Fresco. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We made it to seventy. You didn't even know that. I didn't know that. I still think I thought we thought we had ten followers. And I appreciate it because when we drop a video, we get over seventy within like three days. So that means that our subscribers are actually like watching. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. So thank you guys. 2018 is the build year. We'll be doing collaborations. I'm not gonna say what we're gonna be doing because I learned my lesson. I play myself. Mm, I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna do this, and then it's some great shit coming up, man. We're gonna be doing a lot of things. Um, Trip to New York again. We're going to New York. That that for sure is coming. Yeah. But uh, I just want to say from my heart, I'm trying to feed my kids through this. We pay for this out of our own pocket. We travel. We build. We do our own setup. And it's for the love too, man. We love that's, it. That's the thing. A lot of these dudes are in it to get them YouTube sponsors. And they, and they're nah, gonna be in and that, out, dog. In a, and out, dog. I'm gonna be here for a minute. So yeah. get used to these eyebrows. Yeah, man. Sexy, son. Look at that. Yo, zoom in that shit, son. Them eyebrows is glowing, dog. And I'm shiny because the cookie made me sweat. I just want to be like. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so um, 2018, we'll be doing interviews. We'll be doing a lot more things. Um, Thank you. Remember to make sure SoundCloud, iTunes, YouTube. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Instagram at Last of the Soul Heacons. If you're a hip hop head, go ahead, man. Join us. Join us. Hip hop. Oh. Oh, Lord, my soul. Shout out to Music Needle. We'll be getting adapters. He's sending us a to do giveaways, so that'll be happening. Okay. So, before we head out and ending this year, we will be doing a little something different. So, uh, you ready, Los? Yeah, what, am I, what are we doing? Stay right there. Okay. Come on. Go. Now, it's just being you, dog. Let's go. All right. I don't know how to play the guitar. Ready? One, two, three. Feliz Navidad. Cha-cha-cha-cha. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> cha 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 cha. 
Feliz Navidad. Damn it. Pues pero año, año felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. For the bottle. Yo, last of the So Eekins out of the year. Let's do it. 2018, we're taking over. Biatch! Biatch! <laughs> Oh, that was, yeah, that was fun. That, that was, was good. That was good, dog. <laughs>